Hey folks, today I'd like to talk about Rudy Giuliani, that complex figure of America. You know, I saw a graphic the other day which said something to the effect that in 2002, this is a year after the 9-11 um, disaster in the U.S., um, his favorability rating was something like 76%. Uh, a recent poll uh, in uh, this year, 2023, uh, said his favorability rating was 16%. So over the span of uh, 21 years, uh, that was a 60-point drop in favorability ratings. So the man has gone to <clears throat> being, you know, basically a hero of New York and therefore of America during the 9-11 crisis to being um, reduced to begging for tape scraps at fundraisers um, hosted by Donald Trump uh, in order to help Giuliani pay off his seven-figure legal debts, which he incurred by, uh, you know, following Trump and um, trying to facilitate, um, you know, the uh, the whole issue around uh, stolen elections and uh, the January 6th uh, you know, uh, attempted <laughs> revolution. So he's in a pretty sorry mess. Um, you know, he's come a long way down. Uh, back in the uh, 80s, uh, he was the um, uh, district attorney for the Southern District of New York. He successfully prosecuted the five major mafia families uh, during the day. Um, Gambino's uh, chief among them. John Gotti, I think, is one among those as well, too. Uh, hung tough, uh, despite having something like uh, allegedly an 800,000 uh, uh, contract placed upon his head. <laughs> um, he persevered. Um, he uh, went on to run successfully twice uh, as mayor of New York in 93 and 97. And then after that, segued uh, successfully into... Um, you know, his very successful law practice and uh, other political activities um, in New York. Um, until, you know, along came um, Donald Trump and um, Giuliani's own failed bid for the presidential Republican nomination uh, and thereafter fell in with uh, Donald Trump uh, following in his footsteps and doing his bidding. Uh, which I'm sure this day he has some misgivings about. So, be that as it may, uh, his horoscope is a bit of a puzzle, not an easy one to unlock, uh, because I like a challenge. <laughs> I'm going to do my best with it. So, let's take a look at the horoscope of Giuliani. Okay, so here's the horoscope of Rudy Giuliani. Um, Gemini Rising. Uh, Ascendant Lord Mercury in the eighth house. Uh, let's start with Gemini rising. So, <clears throat> you know, dual Rashi's rising will give you dual signs on all of the Kendras, uh, and in particular, um, let's note the seventh house. Uh, Giuliani has had a pretty messy love life. Um, so, he's been married three times. Um, his second marriage was. Uh, you know, he had two children, but while he was with uh, that wife, uh, he was entertaining his mistress at home. His, uh, his wife had to get a court order to get him to stop bringing the mistress uh, home. So eventually, you know, marriage number two ended and he went on to um, marriage number three. Uh, but, you know, um, these sort of marital scandals did, um, you know, put a stain on his reputation, which, you know, became a bit of an issue during the years that he was uh, uh, both district attorney for the Southern District of New York and, and more to the point, um, mayor or running for and becoming mayor of New York. But be that as it may, uh, this is what happens sometimes with um, uh, dual Rashi's rising, um, you know, duality on the uh, Lugna and the seventh house, you know, creates ambivalence, um, multitasking, um, parallel processing, uh, juggling, uh, ambivalence, uh, uncertainty, um, 
twisting and turning, uh, all of that, you know, both in one's own personal circumstances, but also particularly in terms of relationships. So it's interesting to look at seventh Lord <clears throat> Jupiter, uh, which is, you know, the, the, the planet of abundance itself uh, in any event. So aside from marriages, you know, he's had a number of other allegations uh, launched against him most recently uh, this current year where his former assistant, um, Noel Dumphy, I think the name is, um, has charged him with sexual assault and uh, non-payment of um, you know, salary and alleged that, you know, he uh, obliged anybody that worked for him to be available sexually and uh, a lot of pretty messy allegations. Anyway, so such is the nature when Jupiter is the Lord of your seventh house. This is a powerful Jupiter as well, too, exalted in the 11th house. Uh, but notice how it's afflicted as well, too. It's on the Rahu K2 axis. It's also with the debilitated Mars. So, you know, it sort of puts a taint to uh, a lot of relationships. Uh, Jupiter itself, you know, being the, the planet for abundance and in a water sign as well, too. Seventh Lord uh, in a water sign will, you know, lead to easy emotional entanglements. Uh, and with Jupiter, you know, abundantly available or the pursuit of them is, you know, never ending. Okay, that's an aside really just to sort of validate, you know, some things about his horoscope. So, you know, how did Giuliani rise to such an eminent position, um, you know, district attorney uh, for the, the most prominent, um, you know, um, district in, in the United States? Uh, and then subsequently mayor of the largest city in America. These are pretty, you know, substantive uh, accomplishments in terms of leadership. And yet, you know, to see leadership in his horoscope is no easy matter. Uh, the only planet that he has angular is the Saturn, which, you know, has um, no dignity to speak of, um, nor, nor forms any yogas. But there are a few yogas hidden here in this horoscope, and it's uh, worthy of note. Whenever you see uh, one of the nodes in a uh, trine or a kendra, uh, follow up on it. So here we have K2 in a trine. So K2, you know, either node will always act as a proxy for the very planet which disposits it. So here K2 um, <clears throat> in the fifth house Capricorn will act as a proxy for um, Saturn. Now, uh, directly opposite the chart, we have a couple of planets, Jupiter and Mars. Now, Mars does us no good. It's actually a troublesome planet because it's the Lord of the Third, Lord of the Eighth. It's debilitated. Well, debilitation doesn't matter here in the forming of the yoga. It may play a role in the um, evaluation, the, the quality of the yoga. But here, Mars is just kind of a troublemaker. Uh, and that might explain some of his, you know, romantic activities, which are, uh, you know, sort of adventures and misadventures that might characterize them. But that doesn't lead it to a power yoga. Here's the power yoga. Jupiter, a powerful Jupiter, directly opposite K2, so fully aspects that K2. So this is like having Saturn here. Remember, K2 acts as a proxy for its sign dispositor. So it's like having Saturn there in a trine. So it's a trinal lord, Saturn. K2 acts as that trinal lord by occupying the uh, fifth house. And Jupiter, which is a Kendra lord, a double Kendra lord, lord of the fourth, lord of the seventh. So that Jupiter combines effectively with its dual role, creates two Dharma Karma Adipati Yogas, or you know what we're going to call here um, a nodal Raja Yoga, two nodal Raja Yogas. Uh, especially the Lord of the Fourth and the Fifth <clears throat> are, are, are very powerful. And this Jupiter, you know, brings strength to the union. So therein lies a fairly powerful yoga. Now, um, there's nothing else to really compare in the horoscope. Um, you know, from the Ascendant, um, uh, you know, nothing is uh, very powerful. If we look at the horoscope from the point of view of, and I can just rotate this briefly, uh, Chandra Lagna, and say from the moon, Venus occupies a Kendra, and then we would have Malavya Yoga, and that's a powerful yoga, you know, it can indicate uh, a person with, uh, you know, substance and influence and so on and so forth. And, you know, Venus here occupies the ninth house of 
of uh, you know uh, the judiciary and legislative bodies and so on and so forth, and alludes somewhat to you know Giuliani's role as a <clears throat> professional lawyer and his um, you know his high-ranking uh, role as a district attorney, uh, prosecuting some you know really big names. You know back in the day he he prosecuted. Um, before he got to the mafia types, he, he went after, you know, uh, white collar criminals, uh, Ivan Boski, Michael Milliken. Ivan Boski was a you know, so-called corporate raider back in the day, uh, you know, taking advantage of insider corporate information in order to buy up stock at bargain prices before takeovers and basically amassed $200 million in, in this kind of insider trading. And Giuliani went after him and convicted him and... <clears throat> You know, find him a hundred million dollars and put him in jail for three three years. Uh, Michael Milken, again, who was one of these arbitrage guys, uh, um, and on the wrong side of uh, <laughs> the Securities Exchange Commission, uh, Giuliani went after him to successfully prosecute. So he made his name uh, prosecuting these financial uh, miscreants, and later went uh, after the you know the the five big mafia families in New York. And to his credit. You know, stood up to the threats. Um, you know that he could be killed uh, under a mafia contract, and he succeeded in putting you know uh, literally hundreds of them away uh, into prison. Um, okay, back to this horoscope. Um, but aside from this, the, these pair of nodal Raja yogas, which indeed are powerful, and a Malavya yoga, you know, what we'd call a Pancha Mahapurusha yoga, if seen from Chandra Lagna. <clears throat> Those are substantive, but there's not much else going on in this horoscope. Uh, from the moon, we have uh, Mars and Jupiter in the 12th house away from the moon. Uh, that's called Anapha yoga. I don't usually look at these or pay attention to them, but when there's nothing else going on in the horoscope, well, you know, we grab what we can find. So, interestingly enough, um, strong Jupiter in the 12th from the moon can indicate somebody who is, you know, uh, a paragon of uh, virtue, uh, who is a well-respected individual, who uh, uh, garners the esteem of others, who moves in high society circles. All of this was true of uh, Giuliani from his role as district attorney, then as mayor, and certainly in the post 9-11 uh, era. He uh, <laughs> was probably going out to dinner every single night uh, on somebody else's tab. He was the talk of the town, if if not the country. Uh, but Mars uh, also forms uh, Anapha Yoga, being in the 12th from the moon. And, you know, that says a different thing. A debilitated Mars, um, you know, what this says is basically, you know, this fellow is a leader of a gang of thieves almost sounds like he's running with the wolves himself. And that was certainly not evident in his early days when he was, you know, anti-crime and cleaning up New York left, right, and center. But, you know, in his later um, incarnation as, you know, fixer and uh, personal lawyer uh, and gopher for Donald Trump, uh, I think then he began to run with uh, the wrong crowd and really got himself into a lot of trouble. So, you know, look back on his uh, his life. He ran um, Moon Dasha from um, 1977 to uh, 1987. This is when he campaigned to become the district attorney for the Southern District of New York. Now, <clears throat> this is kind of peculiar, you might think, because you'd say, well, here's the moon with no particular strength in the 12th house, you know, what does that have to do with anything like legal activities and where's the strength in that? Well, if you look at the degree position of the moon, it is uh, <clears throat> in the first degree of a fire sign, therefore in a Ketu Nakshatra. So, <clears throat> any graha during its period, its dasha or bhukti, it will give primarily the results for its nakshatra dispositor. This is a principle of Nadi astrology and also a core principle of Krishnamurti Padati. So, during Moon Dasha, um, it gives primarily the results for K2. Lo and behold, this K2, as I pointed out earlier, 
is the linchpin for two substantive nodal Raja Yogas with the participation of a powerful Jupiter. Uh, and that uh, can, you know, signify significant power, especially if you think of Jupiter's role in all this, which is, you know, the um, epitome of justice and, um, you know, righting wrongs. And, you know, Jupiter Guru is, is uh, the preeminent lawyer. So that was that era. Uh, then uh, in Mars Dasha, uh, which ran from uh, 1987 to 1994, uh, Giuliani ran for um, mayor of New York for the first time in 1993. So it was late in his uh, Mars Dasha. It might even have been in Mars Dasha Moon Bukti. So <clears throat> Mars, although, you know, it's sort of murky here, um, uh, being debilitated and on the Rahu K2 axis, Mars Jupiter do form a little known yoga called uh, Guru Mangala Yoga, which uh, again is you know two male planets in a in a positive house, um, you know can give strength in terms of you know fulfilling um, their their ideals and ambitions uh, in life, and it certainly was you know one of his ambitions to make a, uh, a difference in his, his hometown, New York. So he pretty much succeeded in that. And then he ran again uh, in um, 1997 when he was now in Rahu Dasha. And of course, Rahu gives the results of Jupiter and gives the results of Mars, both of which it's <clears throat> associated with. And because, you know, it's in uh, the moon's Rashi, it gives uh, some results for the moon as well, too. And so, you know, some difficulties during this era as well, too. There were, you know, payola scandals. There were relationship scandals, infidelities. Uh, and so, you know, his reputation got tarnished a bit during this era, although he did do a good job of, uh, you know, cleaning up New York. Also, during uh, the Rahu period, uh, along came 9-11. Um, um, and, you know, he rose to the occasion, certainly there. This was in the period of um, uh, Rahu Mercury. And, uh, you know, this was the period, uh, the book day of his ascendant lord. And Mercury, um, Lagnesh in, in the eighth house, you know, shows some ability to um, triumph um, in a period of trauma and dislocation and uh, help New York uh, recover during this, you know, pivotal uh, event in American history. And he was subsequently um, given a knighthood uh, by Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, this also occurred during um, Rahu uh, Mercury. So, you know, Mercury is the lord of uh, the first and the tenth. You know, the two, uh, you know, they say that very notable things <clears throat> can happen during the period of the planet that rules <clears throat> the Ascendant or the Tenth House. So certainly we could say this was the highlight, the crowning achievement of uh, Giuliani's uh, career. I mean, he did very substantive things before as district attorney and also as mayor, but it was his role during 9-11 that really, you know, put his um, face literally on the cover of Time magazine and, um, uh, you know, his image throughout the world. Um, as mayor of New York during this dark time. Um, so then move along uh, and into um, Jupiter Dasha, which started in 2012, uh, which continues to run and will run up until 2028. So this was an era in which, you know, um, Giuliani um, made any number of attempts uh, for, you know, running for uh, political uh, office. He uh, ran as a contender for the Republican presidential primaries against John McCain back in the day. <clears throat> Did not succeed. At another time, he ran for New York senator against Hillary Clinton, uh, but had to bow out because of um, <clears throat> uh, prostate cancer. So, um, you know, this is sort of a, a mixed bag period for him um, and continues to be so. Uh, why so? Well, um, <clears throat> Jupiter is in late uh, Cancer, so in a nakshatra of Mercury. 
So remember, when a period runs, whether it be Dasha or Bhukti, it will give primarily the results for its star lord, its nakshatra disposer. <clears throat> so during Jupiter Dasha, it'll give the results of Mercury, which is ascendant lord, tenth lord in the eighth house. A uh, very poor place uh, for that, you know, significant graha to be because it's representative of the self. And, you know, it has no support. It has no strength there. It has uh, no aspect or association of any benefic. So it's pretty much on its own, uh, you know, you might say something like um, uh, a rudderless ship to some degree. And so that is where we stand, uh, you know, today, still in uh, Jupiter uh, Dasha. And things are, you know, unwinding for him. Uh, his um, license to practice law was suspended um, a couple of years ago, June of 2021. That was during Jupiter Venus. Uh, you think Venus, you know, could, you know, save him in some respects, but uh, what is going on with Venus here? Venus is um, in six degrees of an earth sign. That is a sun nakshatra. Although the sun, you know, is okay here in the ninth house, it also rules the twelfth. And so you get some sort of notion there of, <clears throat> you know, um, the Venus Bukti invoking the two planets in the ninth house that, you know, might reflect, um, you know, aptitude and competence in the legal field of the ninth house. But, you know, a bit murky there with the sun's lordship of the twelfth implying some loss of such power as well, too. And, you know, recently, as recently as May of 2023, um, his former assistant, uh, you know, has filed a sexual assault charges against him and, you know, uh, a claim for uh, non-payment of salary. And that occurred during Jupiter Moon. Well, okay, Moon occupies uh, the 12th house and there's this other notion of loss as far as that goes. And here's where he sits today in uh, Jupiter Dasha Moon uh, Bukti. Now, this is problematic, you know, <laughs> um, we can read about it in the news or, or hear about it on CNN almost uh, every day, uh, Rudy's um, financial problems. He's, he's got a seven-figure legal bill for, you know, um, statements he made um, after the, um, the election uh, that Trump lost. Giuliani's claims that, you know, um, Dominion and Smartmatic, the two uh, companies that, um, you know, uh, create and manage the voting machines, uh, you know, he made allegations that they were corrupt and using faulty software and that they were cheating and that somehow Hugo Chavez, a former president of Venezuela, had you know, shipped these in and uh, was using it to subvert the U.S. election and a whole lot of nonsense. And basically, you know, Giuliani um, said a lot of things uh, in public and on uh, Fox News that got him in trouble, got Fox News in trouble, um, and got a number of his other associates in trouble as well, too, such that he's facing all kinds of legal jeopardy. He's lost his license to practice. And is now, you know, going to go to court uh, in the Georgia election interference case, at the least. Uh, well, you know, there's the, the defamation cases uh, brought by Dominion and Smartmatic as well, too. He's really behind the eight ball. So, you know, he's put his uh, $5 million um, Manhattan uh, penthouse or uh, apartment uh, condo up for sale. Uh, he recently went begging to Donald Trump for um, help in paying his legal fees, and Trump is obliged by hosting, um, you know, a $100,000 uh, plate dinner for sponsors to help out Giuliani. But, you know, that's raised three hundred grand. It's not going to be enough. Um, he's going to be liquidating assets uh, for a while. So, you know, um, the official birth time shown for Giuliani is 2.30. I tweaked that a few minutes earlier 
uh, for my own reasons, basically to reflect um, A, uh, his, using the Dvamsha, uh, to reflect his perennial difficulties with uh, spouses and other women. And uh, B, uh, at the same time, tweak the Dasha Amsa to reflect his uh, successful bid uh, as uh, New York mayor. Uh, and I can show those um, charts here briefly. Um, I think I can. Um, here's the Navamsha. Uh, and so when you have Venus in the ascendant of the Navamsha, it's a bit like uh, Kaviko Bavo Nashto. It's sort of a signature for <clears throat> perennial difficulties with respect to um, uh, personal relationships. Um, with the later time, Venus was in the 12th house. Uh, tweaking this time, at four minutes, put it in the first house, which makes sense in light of his life. Uh, then the other thing, we can look at the Dashamsa. Um, he uh, successfully ran for mayor late in his Mars uh, Dasha. And so, I, you know, by coincidence, when I tweaked the Navamsha just enough minutes, I also got this Mars in the first house as well, too, to reflect his, you know, ascendancy to, you know, political power, the sort of command and control planet ends up in the first house for the um, uh, his first um, successful election as mayor of New York. Okay, those are asides just to explain why I end up tweaking this uh, horoscope. What I want to show you is a couple of other Amshas. Um, whoops, I gotta do this. Uh, and here we have the Chatur Shamsha. So recall that he's uh, in Jupiter Dasha Moon Bukti. So a general rule for um, <clears throat> interpreting the um, Amshas according to Shishadri Iyer, um, who my, my teacher Hart Defoe um, endorses uh, highly and uh, is, is, you know, built an entire program of Amsha analysis based upon Ayer's teachings. Uh, the basic premise is that <clears throat> planets, are Dasha and Bukti lords, that occupy Dushtanas are problematic. So in the Amshas, uh, 6, 8, and 12 are, you know, Dushtanas, of course, but so too is the third, just as bad as 6, 8, and 12. Okay, <clears throat> third and six don't come into it here, but notice here, Jupiter Dasha Moon Bukti. This is where Giuliani stands today. Jupiter occupies the eighth house. The moon occupies the twelfth house. So Chatur Shamsha, um, uh, the D4, is basically an Amsha to indicate net worth. So this is a pretty awful uh, Dasha, and furthermore, uh, a nasty bukti for him as well. Let's go further. Uh, back to uh, Dashamsha. The D10 is an indicator for professional success, social acclaim, you know, roles of responsibility, and so on and so forth. Basically, you know, the esteem with which you were held uh, on account of your professional duties uh, and the way you're esteemed, in, you know, in the world. Okay, Jupiter uh, Dasha Moon Bukti. Jupiter, here it is, in the sixth house, Adushtana. Where's the moon? The moon is in the third house, also Adushtana. So again, this is a terrible time for Giuliani because he's, you know, become a, a bit of a laughing stock. Last but not least, uh, let's find this other. Um, no, 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 no. Where is it? Uh, here we are. Ekadesh Amsha. Uh, <clears throat> one of the Amshas uh, favored by Ayer to uh, look at significant winnings or losses. So, again, coincidentally, we have here Jupiter in a Dushtana, the sixth house, Moon in another Dushtana, the third house. So, you know, during this era, we're seeing massive outlays uh, for Rudy Giuliani's expenses are through the roof. Uh, let's go right back to the natal chart now and be reminded that the moon occupies the 12th house, which is the house of expenses. 
So no surprise that, you know, this is, you know, coming down hard on him. This must be especially hard for Giuliani because in his heyday, riding really, really high, he and his wife were spending something like 200 grand a month entertaining memberships to multiple, you know, uh, golf clubs, other, you know, uh, you know, extended travel, purchase of, you know, luxury vehicles, purchases of property. Um, his cigar bill alone was $7,000 a month. Um, so he's used to spending and now he's spending again, but now he's spending it on things he doesn't want to. And it, it's really going to hurt uh, for some time as well. Uh, so there we have it. Um, that's as much as I think I'm going to do today. All right, let's uh, call a halt to that. Okay, back for just a minute to uh, scoop up a couple of things that I forgot to discuss during the main uh, portion of this uh, video. <clears throat> so, um, debilitated Mars. Whenever we see a debilitated Graha, it behooves us to check and see whether there might be Nichabanga, and maybe it's not such a nasty little planet after all. But <clears throat> I won't put the horoscope back up, but you can look at it on your own and see what's going on. So <clears throat> with Mars debilitated in um, Cancer, uh, we have to look at a number of planets that might rescue uh, that Mars. One of them is the Moon. Uh, well, first, the, the, the very debilitated Graha itself, you know, we ask ourselves, is it in a Kendra from the Ascendant or the Moon? It's not, it's not. Um, it's Dispositor, uh, the Moon. Um, is it in a Kendra? No, it's not. Does it uh, associate with or aspect uh, Mars? No, it doesn't. Um, the planet that would be exalted in Cancer um, is it in a Kendra from the Ascendant, uh, that planet is Jupiter. Uh, is it in a Kendra from uh, the Ascendant or the Moon? No, it's not. Does it associate with or aspect Mars? Yes, it does. So there's a glimmer of hope. Jupiter is going to help that debilitated Mars. The last planet we have to look at is um, uh, the planet that rules the sign where Mars would be exalted. So Mars is exalted in Capricorn. The ruler of that is Saturn. Is Saturn in a Kendra? Yes. From the Ascendant, from the Moon? No. Does it associate with our aspect, that debilitated Mars? No. Uh, so then in the end, uh, we only have one last thing to look at, and uh, that is the uh, dispositor uh, of uh, the debilitated planet Moon and the uh, lord of its exaltation sign, Saturn, are they in mutual kindreds? No. So out of 12 possible points here, um, <clears throat> we have to um, discard one because the moon cannot be kindred from itself. So we're left with 11 valid points or factors, um, uh, but only two of those are fulfilled. So two out of 11 is only 22%. So the general rule is if you go through this analysis and only score uh, 25% out of all possible factors that, you know, can weigh in to rescue a debilitated planet. If you don't make it, then it's not even uh, a case of Nietzsche Banga. Furthermore, if it doesn't form any, you know, sort of desirable yogas, it's certainly not going to be Nietzsche Banga yoga, never mind Nietzsche Banga Raja yoga. So in this case, this Mars remains a Nietzsche Graha. There is insufficient Banga um, relief to save it from itself. And then we'll go back and look at that Mars. So Mars is the Lord of the third and the eighth. I like to characterize such a planet as being an agent of misadventure <laughs> because the third house is, you know, desire and its pursuit. And the eighth house is basically going off the road and into the ditch. Uh, and with that Mars being debilitated and associated with the seventh Lord Jupiter, uh, you know, the whole premise there could be summed up in saying bad choice of associates, bad choice of partners, bad choice of bedfellows. There you have it. Okay, that's it for today. Hope to see you another time. Bye.